As one of the countries with the strongest military power in the world, Russia stands out in how it structures its military branches. While most countries typically have an army, navy, and air force, Russia includes an additional branch known as the Strategic Rocket Forces. This branch was established on December 17, 1959, back when Russia was part of the Soviet Union. Calculating from that time, the strategic rocket forces are now over 64 years old. As of the year 2020, this branch had approximately 50,000 personnel divided into three units and based in different locations. These units include the 27th Guard Rocket Army stationed in the city of Vladimir, the 31st Rocket Army based in the city of Orenburg, and the 33rd Guard Rocket Army headquartered in the city of Omsk. This branch of Russia's armed forces plays a crucial role as it controls all the primary offensive assets of the country led by Vladimir Putin. One of the deadliest of these assets is the YAR's missile, which they tested in the year 2022 during Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine. Today, it is certainly interesting to examine the strength of Russia's strategic rocket forces, which we are currently discussing. Historically, since the time when the strategic rocket forces were under the Soviet Union, during the Cold War, this branch was vital for showcasing power against the United States and its allies. One of the armaments continually developed by this division is the ballistic missile. Throughout the career of the strategic rocket forces, various types of ballistic missiles have been developed up to the present day. From short range, medium range, long range, to intercontinental ballistic missiles, the strategic rocket forces of Russia utilize only two types of ballistic missiles in the modern world, short range ballistic missiles and intercontinental ballistic missiles. Let's focus on discussing short range ballistic missiles first. According to the data available, there are seven types of short-range ballistic missiles used by Russia. These missiles have been developed since the 1950s, with the most recent development occurring in 2006. Among all the short-range ballistic missiles possessed by Russia, the 9K-720 Iskander missile is the most recent. As observed, this ballistic missile is launched using a wheeled vehicle platform, allowing it to be launched from almost anywhere and featuring visual camouflage. In terms of size, this missile is 7.3 meters long with a diameter of 0.92 meters and weighs 3,800 tons. In terms of flight specifications, this missile can travel a distance of up to 500 kilometers at a speed of up to Mach 5.9 or 2,000 meters per second. The missile is extremely lethal, carrying a warhead weighing up to 700 kilograms with flexible warhead options that can be adjusted based on the target. These options include high explosive fragmentation warheads, high penetration warheads, and even thermonuclear warheads. Furthermore, the terrifying capability of this missile is enhanced by its comprehensive guidance system. It utilizes GPS, an inertial guidance system, and the advanced Russian GLONASS satellite navigation system. This guidance system ensures that the 9K-720 Iskander missile boasts an accuracy with a claimed error margin of only 5 to 7 meters. With the level of precision this missile system possesses and the remarkable warhead it carries, deviating by 7 meters is hardly a concern because the destructive force remains overwhelmingly powerful. Currently, the 9K-720 Iskander is employed not only by Russia, but is also exported to other nations. Countries such as Armenia, Algeria, and Belarus are among the operators. It is important to note that deploying this ballistic missile system comes with a hefty price tag, with each unit costing as much as 3 million United States dollars. Among the various short-range rockets employed by Russia, the 9K-720 Iskander is undoubtedly the latest addition, though its performance is not the pinnacle. Reflecting on Russia's history, during the era of the Soviet Union, there was a short-range ballistic missile named the R-2 
boasting a range of 1,200 kilometers. Unfortunately, its development phase was marred by significant inaccuracy, with an error margin reaching 8 kilometers. Consequently, the development of this missile, initiated in 1951, was discontinued in 1962. This decision underscores that Russia, or the Soviet Union, has historically placed a higher value on precision rather than sheer range. Now, let's shift our focus to the intercontinental ballistic missiles utilized by Russia. These ballistic missiles are characterized by their exceptionally long range, extending beyond 5,500 kilometers. Based on the data obtained, Russia has developed six distinct types of intercontinental ballistic missiles since the year 1962, with the latest one being introduced as recently as 2023. Of all the intercontinental ballistic missiles in Russia's arsenal, the RS-24 Yars is currently the one most frequently tested to showcase their military prowess. This formidable missile was first unveiled by Russia in the year 2007, and it immediately captured worldwide attention. It's no wonder that this missile, which measures 74 feet in length, 6.5 feet in diameter, and weighs 49.6 tons, boasts incredible flight specifications. It can travel at speeds of up to Mach 25, which is approximately 19,000 miles per hour, and has a range of up to 7,400. 456 miles. This extensive range allows the RS-24 Yars, when launched from Russia's capital, Moscow, to reach major cities in the United States, including New York, Las Vegas, and Washington, D.C. What makes this rocket even more terrifying is its exceptional accuracy. Utilizing an inertial guidance system and assisted by the GLONASS satellite guidance system, the RS-24 Yars has a claimed error margin of less than 328 feet. This level of inaccuracy is negligible for Russia to worry about, because the RS-24 Yars is equipped with three to six multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, each with a 500 kiloton thermonuclear warhead. MIRV technology is advanced, allowing a single missile to release multiple warheads to strike several targets simultaneously and to enemy air defense systems. As a country that views intercontinental ballistic missiles as a primary weapon, Russia is naturally not satisfied with the performance of the RS-24 Yars. Consequently, in 2023, they developed a new intercontinental ballistic missile, the RS-28 Sarmat. By regulation, the RS-28 Sarmat is significantly larger than the RS-24 Yars. Measuring 116 and a half feet in length, with a diameter of nearly 10 feet, and a weight of 208 tons, its flight capabilities are also far more formidable. When launched from a silo, its range extends to 11,184 miles, and if launched using a suborbital flight method or from an aircraft, its range can reach up to 21,749 miles. With such a range, the RS-28 Sarmat can target every major city around the globe, making this intercontinental ballistic missile extremely fearsome. Moreover, its latest guidance system, which incorporates an astro-inertial system, reduces its error margin to less than 33 feet. Not stopping there, this missile also carries up to 16 multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles with a combined explosive yield of 50 megatons. This explosive power is 3,000 times greater than the explosion in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which was only 15 kilotons. Thus, if the RS-28 Sarmat hits a city, that city is guaranteed to be completely leveled. In future projections, the Russian strategic rocket forces plan to retire several types of their intercontinental ballistic missiles, particularly those with solid fuel. 
This is because liquid-fueled ballistic missiles, like the RS-28 Sarmat, are considered superior. Additionally, Russia will continue to enhance MERV technology, which enables warheads to strike multiple targets simultaneously while evading air defense systems. With this projection, it is believed that Russia will continually develop new generations of intercontinental ballistic missiles that are even more formidable than the RS-28 Sarmat.